I'm Patrick Bailey with IQlist.com. Today is July 31st, 2018, and in this video I'm going to be going over an issue I had on my Prusa i3 Mark III the other day where I had a bed thermal runaway error pop up on my LCD screen. Okay, well here's a picture of the actual error code for someone else. I wish I had taken a picture of my own machine, but I had to go find this where this came up and it said bed thermal runaway. Now in my case it happened several, several times. So what happened, nothing particular happened recently, but all of a sudden it printed. It actually happened on a, a, a long print I was doing rather slowly where I was printing out this Doctor Who book thing and it was almost done. It was like 99% done and then it failed in the middle of the night and when it failed it just stayed right where it was. It didn't, you know, back off at all and the error on there was bed thermal runaway and I went, oh crud, what is this? What does this mean? And so I took that off, put something else on just to see what was happening and it would... For about four or five prints, it would print for five or ten minutes and then, or half an hour even, I'd come back and I'd get this bed thermal runaway issue where it's all stuck again. And so I said, oh, bed and thermal runaway, I guess, uh, just like on the um, the nozzle, you know, it's being heat on the bed, it's being heated, but it's also a thermistor detecting the temperature. And if something happens where all of a sudden the bed starts getting too hot, it starts, you know, having a thermal runaway, it starts getting hotter and hotter and hotter. Um, it needs to shut down. And so this is a very nice safety feature. Um, it would have been a little nice if it shut down by pausing the print, but that's not what happened. Uh, so in my case, it happened a couple of times and I kept trying, I was trying to time it so I could see it happen and I couldn't time it just right. I kept coming in too late and not just staring at it for a couple hours. Uh, but then finally I looked at it and I should have let it go and I should have took a picture of it while it was happening. I looked at it and all of a sudden my temperature of my bed, which was 60 degrees, all of a sudden went 59, 58, 55, and it went down to about 54 and I went, ah, here, here's an issue. This is, this is probably part of the issue. And so I went back and all I really did was, I don't know how well we can see it in the video right here, but uh, if you can see back here, you know, this cord is what's going to the bed. And the power is going through here, but also the thermistor is going through here. So really I just jiggled it until I saw on the LCD screen the temperature start to rise. And so I went, ah, okay, I guess something when there, there's a lot of movement over time and something just jiggled loose. And so now power wasn't going to it or wasn't going to it all the time as it was going back and forth. But I jiggled it. And ever since I jiggled it, it's been fine. I printed, I don't know, a dozen things out since then and, I, and it's been fine. So whatever little thing was a little loose, I guess it's fine now. I'm a little nervous about printing things that take a long time, um, but overall it's fixed. So I, I was kind of a public service announcement of what it means and what's out there. So I went to go do some research on what does it mean. And I found two good URLs, which I'll post in my show notes, show, show, which I will post in my show notes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, so the first thing is the process website. And so this made the most sense to me because at first I was like, wait a minute, am I having two issues? Because thermal runaway to me means the temperature is running away. It's getting hotter, 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 hotter. And then you want to stop that. Um, or cut power because you don't know what's going on. Just just stop because you don't want you know you don't want your house burning down. So good safety feature. But when I saw what I saw was the temperatures going down, down, down. And then by reading this, I went, oh, okay, I got it. So what happens is the thermistor. Uh, if all of a sudden the thermistor gets disconnected, the thermistor is going to start detecting lower and lower temperatures. And so once it gets low enough, it's going to stop. So here's actually the issue, the uh, what the why the error occurs based on what Prusa says. So thermal runaway occurs when the temperature readout of the hot end drops by 15 degrees C for more than 45 seconds, or the heat bed, which is my case, for more than four minutes while while printing. So in my case, it obviously went down 15 degrees C, so it went from 60 to I guess 45 for more than four minutes, and then it cut out. So basically, it said, "Oh, you know what? I can't." At this point, I can't detect the temperature bed, or I think I can't detect the temperature bed, or it seems too low. And if it's too low, even though I'm pumping power into it, I must be disconnected. Uh, my thermistor must be disconnected, so I'm going to shut off. So in my case, the thermistor was fine. It was connected, but it seemed like the power got disconnected. So in my case, it actually wasn't a thermal runaway. It was There was no thermal. But I can see how that's exactly the, the results would be the same. If the if the power got disconnected, it's going to cool off and the thermistor will detect that. If the power stays on and the thermistor comes off, 
the thermistor is going to get cooled down, even though the temperature of the, of the, the bed might be okay. But now the thermistor is off. And since it can't really detect what the bed temperature is, it's going to go, hey, I don't know what's going on. Shut down. So that makes sense to me. So there's that site. Uh, another place I found was this in the forums, which basically says the same thing, you know. Um, so and I'll, I'll post some research I found here. But basically, that is what's going on. And I did find another guy here. and I'll post this somewhere. He's got some great pictures on what his issue was, because your issue might be as simple as mine. The cords got jiggled loose and there's no more power. But what happens if your thermistor is disconnected? Well, you probably want to read through this guy's post because he had to go back and reconnect his thermistor. He took the bottom part apart and he could see that, yeah, the thermistor was off. I luckily didn't have that, so I'm not going to go through it, but that could be the other issue. The issues are something disconnected. Either your power is disconnected in my case or your thermistor is disconnected. And so, you know, a good safety feature, a little frustrating. The only thing that would have been nicer in my case is if it detected this problem it would be it would have been nice if it went to a pause state because then I could have restarted. You know, I could have, in my case, been lucky and jiggled the cord and had it seen it reconnect and have it go again. Um, but in a case like this where the thermistor is not connected, well, you're probably not restarting that print. But anyway, I just thought I would share. It was interesting, um, interesting issue. And in this case, it turned out, you know, the fix was just a technical tap. So in this, I was lucky, jiggle the cord. Um, it might break on me again. I don't know. I might have to go break open the box and make sure all my connections are correct. Um, but we'll see how long it goes. I haven't had anything. I haven't dropped it recently or anything weird to it. I think it might have just wiggled a little bit loose over time. But for now, I think I'm okay. Hey, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, hey, give it a thumbs down. Also, if you like what we we're doing here, subscribe to the channel by clicking the subscribe button. And lastly, have a piece of info to share? Just post a comment.